Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm doing my July reading wrap up. This month I read five books so I'm just going to get right into it. This wrap up is not going to be in the exact order that I've read the books because the first three books I want to talk about are part of a series so I'm just going to group them all together just to make things simpler. And that is, I read The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, and The House of Hades from the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. And these books were so much fun. I really enjoyed all of them for slightly different reasons. Son of Neptune, of course, I enjoyed so much because Percy came back. If you didn't know, Percy was not in The Lost Hero. And while I really, really enjoyed that book, I did miss Percy. <laughs> so I had Percy back in Son of Neptune, which was amazing. In the Mark no, wrong one. <laughs> in the Mark of Athena, all the characters from The Lost Hero and the Son of Neptune finally got to meet and they all came together in like this big giant crew and that was so much fun because the whole crew was together and going on adventures and stuff and while they did split off from time to time it was just awesome to have them all together and like the dynamic between them all was really fun and then of course the house of hades was also really good even though they weren't all together anymore the house of hades was really really exciting and i really enjoyed it so much i had a lot of fun reading this book so i'm absolutely loving this series i only have one book left I've already started Blood of Olympus and it is also very good. I cannot wait to see how the series ends. And the next book I read was Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst, I believe is her name. I no longer have the book with me. But I really enjoyed this book as well. This book has been getting so much hype so I was a little like skeptical going into it about how much I would actually enjoy it. And while I don't know if it's quite as spectacular as everyone has been saying it is. I still really enjoyed it. It took me a good minute to get into it. It took me especially a minute to warm up to Mare because she was uh, an interesting character. So despite the fact that her nickname was Mare and she spent a lot of time with horses, which I thought was a little bit silly. Despite that, which like took me a minute to get over, I was like, really? Do really. Despite that, her character was a little rough around the edges and took me a good minute to get used to, but once I like started to like her more and like get more into the story, I thought the world was pretty interesting it, because they pray to these saints as their gods. It took me, it took a little bit for them to explain like exactly why they were the deities of that world, but once they did I thought it was really interesting and I'm glad they went into all that because I was really curious about that. And they went into it, so I thought that was really good. I also thought the romance was great. Uh, I just, I really enjoyed it, and it got really exciting by the end. I don't know if there's going to be. Oh, this light is messed up. Is that better? Yeah, it wasn't pointed right at me. I don't know if this is going to be a series, but it ended on a way that was like it could have been the ending, or it could have led to more. So if it is a series, I will definitely continue on because I really enjoyed the characters. And if that's the end, I can like just hope for a happy ending for them because it left off on a way where it kind of could be continued or it kind of could have ended. So either way, I still enjoy that book and thought it was very good. And the final book I read this month was Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. I read this during the biannual bibliothon and this was the group pick for the biannual bibliothon. It was also the pick for my book club that I am a host for on Goodreads called Reading and Rambling. The link is always in the description below if you want to join. There is always the option to participate in live shows. Um, even if you just joined and you want to participate in a live show, go ahead and join. We haven't really had a live show in a while because people's schedules just haven't been working out that well for it. But again, if you want to join in and you want to be a part of a live show, I will be so happy to have you in the group. But yes, yeah, so this book... I was a little bit disappointed by this book, to be honest. It takes place in like ancient Japan and it's about this girl who pretended to be a boy and joining this group called the Black Clan and I thought it was going to be like really exciting and like her learning how to fight, her learning how to be an assassin and like espionage and all of that. It was a little bit on the slow side for me. Her writing style is very descriptive and pretty and I did enjoy her writing style even though I felt like 
it also made it sometimes like the writing was so I don't know it was done in such a way that sometimes as far as the plot goes it was confusing because she switched perspectives which is fine but somehow it was always during someone else's perspective that a character we knew got injured or something so the character wasn't named when they were injured like it was from someone's perspective that didn't know the character so we didn't say that like for example say Bob <laughs> there's no one named Bob in this book but for example Bob gets injured but it's during like, Carlos's perspective so Carlos doesn't know Bob's name so Carlos just knows that some dude on the other team got stabbed and then we go on and then all of a sudden we go back to like a perspective of Jenny who is Bob's best friend and Jenny this is not what the book is like <laughs> but Jenny's like oh no Bob's been stabbed blah 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 and I'm like, when did Bob get stabbed? And that was me during every single action scene. Because I would come back to someone else's perspective and somebody has been injured and I don't know why I didn't put it together but somehow I was always confused about how people had gotten injured. <laughs> I don't know if it was me, if I was just zoning out during this book a lot. I did zone out during this book quite a lot though. I might just not have been in the mood to read it when I was reading it because I had just gone from like reading Rick Riordan which is super funny and super fast paced and I'm absolutely obsessed with those characters and then we go to this where it's like a lot more mellow and a lot more like flowery writing and very 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 serious like I don't know if they hardly ever laughed at all in this book so I might just it might have been just the wrong time for me to read this I was also trying to read it in one day because that was one of the challenges for the book two with them so I was kind of like trying to push through it really fast and I don't think this is the sort of book that you're supposed to try and push through really fast unfortunately so it wasn't like my favorite reading experience also the romance happened all of a sudden. It went from like nothing to they really love each other. And it was like a weird like 180 flip for the romance. Um, for me anyway. I think I've repeated myself for everything but I also did talk about this during my biannual bibliothon and book two with on vlogs. So if I left anything out right now I probably said it in one of those vlogs. So that's enough on that book. And I think I might have just done a record. This might have been my fastest reading wrap up ever. Go me. That is all I read this month. I also read some mangas in the beginning of the month. But I don't, I'm not going to talk about them because I like barely remember them at this point. It was so long ago and I read so many Rick Riordan books since then that I just I'm not going to talk about them. Please tell me what you've been reading this month or if you read any of the same books I did in the comments below. I would love to chat with you about what you're reading. I did a weird accent there. And I upload new videos on Mondays plus the occasional surprise video so please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!